but importantly Nigel responded well to the loss he said it was a blessing in disguise he said it proved to him how much he had to learn he changed trainers he moved his boxing base to Miami he took fights against solid opposition learned how to pace himself and appeared much improved in beating Doug DeWitt last April so Nigel Ben appears to have his career on the right track Iran Berkeley's career has been on track for a while since he emerged from the infamous projects of the South Bronx to become a world champion with his sensational 1988 knockout of Thomas Hearn. Iran lost close decisions last year to Roberto Duran and Michael Nunn, and then last December, he had surgery for a detached retina. He ballooned up to 217 pounds, 217 pounds after that. He's been okay, inactive for over a year, and on a personal level, Iran's father passed away last Sunday. All those factors have been combined to make the younger, fresher fighter, Nigel Benn, a 9-5 to five favorite. But both men have the kind of power that can turn the fight around on a single punch. And when you have two bombers, it's often the man who lands his bomb first that comes out on top. Okay, Alex, let's bring up the tail of the tape and look at the numbers for today's fight. Uh, ben makes that weight easily. Barkley, as Alex just told you, really works to get to that 160. The rules today, the WBO version, 10-point must system. The three knockdown is in effect. The standing eight is not. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell, except the final round, and only the referee can stop the fight. There is the opening bell, and we are underway. And as expected, it gets started in the middle of the ring, and Nigel Ben lands a right to get this one underway. Nigel Ben wearing the sequin trunks. I ran Barkley in the red. He's down. Not only is he down, but he hit his man while he was down, and he gave valuable time to Carl to uh, Barkley. Although the referee did pick up the count on six. And Carlos Padilla is our referee today. A shocking first round, barely underway. Again, Ben in the sequin trunks, the blade. Iran Barkley wearing the red. Iran has shown recuperative powers in the past, Dan. Was getting beat up badly by Thomas Hearns when he stopped him. But he really looked very wooden when he came out of the corner. And there! By Iran Barkley. And now it's Barkley backing Ben into the ropes. A good counterpunch by Barkley. A good left hand. Oh, both men are hurt. And check it out. right hand by Ben misses a couple short counters those punches Alex from Barkley don't look like they have a whole lot on them well they're having an effect on Nigel Ben I mean Nigel Ben's chin has been suspect since the loss of Watson as we said I was talking about just those last couple oh okay <laughs> well they're nothing but arm punches well we knew that a lot of big punches were going to be thrown but oh and there's a good right hand by Ben Got over the glove of Barkley. Iran's punches are just, Iran's punches are just painfully slow, Dan. I mean, he's throwing oh. them. Again, an uppercut by Ben, and then it comes over the top with a right and scores. Oh, oh. Iran Barkley is a fighter who's always had a warrior's heart. He's always had a superior will whether he won or lost, and he's going to need it here. He's lucky that he's in with an opponent whose chin is not rock solid. Another combination of right hands, and you can see Nigel Ben closing, and he hits Barkley with Barkley's down. And that should definitely be a point deduction. He's been warned already in this round about hitting a man when he's down, and that is grounds, in my opinion, Dan, if he landed a harder punch for disqualification. That's just outrageous. Carlos Padilla yells at Ben, but does not take a point away. A legitimate knockdown. A reminder, the three-knockdown rule is in effect. And there goes, there goes Barkley down to the ground. Is that the third knockdown, Alex? No, second knockdown. He's stopping it. Yes. Remember, he knocked him into the ropes right as we started. That was the third knockdown. The fight is over. A first-round win for Nigel Ben. I assumed that the first big blow by Ben, which knocked Barkley back into the ropes, should have been...
Smith yep. had ruled a knockdown. The ropes kept him from going. No, no, down. you're right. I mean, he took three counts. My recollection is. The three knockdown rule is a staple of the WBO. It is how Nigel Benn beat Doug DeWitt with three knockdowns in the eighth round. And now with three knockdowns in round number one, he defeats Iran Barkley.